what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in another video today we are going to be doing another chameleon cell pour the colors we're using are titanium white lemon yellow fluorescent orange and a deep magenta all the colors are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint and there is no silicone oil of any kind in these colors because we're going to apply it after we layer this cup I chose these colors because I feel like they are kind of an Arizona color palette. I really like these colors together and I don't paint with it quite enough so I decided I'm going to do it today. But how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I am doing wonderful over here in Phoenix. It's getting warmer every day, so it must be getting closer to being summertime, hopefully, because I am ready for summer. I'm trying to make sure that there's a good amount of layers, large layers, small layers, a good diversity of them, and then also making sure there's contrast between the dark colors and the lighter colors. You should not have any cells form in this mixture. So the only cells we might see after this are just bubbles that are left over from mixing up the paints. All right, we're drawing down towards the end here. Those are some pretty colors, you guys. I think I have a little white left. And that's just gonna end up sinking, isn't it? More than likely. Hmm. Would you look at that? That looks nice. And we flipped it. Give it a couple seconds for the air that was still in the top of that cup to kind of trickle down and let the paint settle. Another thing flipping it that way, you do introduce a lot of bubbles, which is okay. It is okay. All right. Well, I guess we can see if we can pop some of these bubbles. Like I was saying, it looks like cells, but it's not. It's just air bubbles. That's really pretty. I love the transparencies doing these, these flip cups. Really looks nice. All right, let's see. I like this orange and that orange. I want to see if we can try to keep that in there. Just seeing where the heaviest section of the paint is. All right. Well, let's spread it out. Ooh. That looks nice. Yep, that's going to be a really, really nice looking chameleon cell when we're done with it. And I'm just drying off the tip. So I have the bottom of this little cup here. I'm just gonna put some coconut milk hair serum on it. And then I have a dotting tool that I'm going to dip and dot, dip and dot. You can get about 20 to 25 dots per dip. Some of you I've noticed, you've, you've been telling me the issues you've been having with this technique and a lot of times it's you're using too much oil. And if you're not using too much oil, your paints are too thick, so they don't let the paint spread when the oil touches it. I always do this little round circular shape. And you see how many times I've dotted it already and I have not gone back for more silicone? bit of silicone does go a very long way. 
So you don't need to put too much. If you put too much, there's a good chance that it will push down into the canvas and then you'll have a, a bare spot on the painting. So. I have a good idea about how much these cells will spread. So that's why I put them in the positions that I do. But you'll see towards the end, some of these cells won't want to grow. And we can go back and reapply. circumference of this circle. Before I reapply oil, I clean off the tip with a paper towel. Because we don't want to reintroduce colors that are overmixed from the tip of this dotting tool onto the canvas because you'll be able to see the muddiness in your cells if you do that. So I'm just gently applying pressure to the dot, the little dotting tool, and I'm pushing till I feel the canvas underneath. I'm not pushing really hard, I'm just gently tapping until I feel the canvas, and then I lift it back up out. If you're using a sharper tool, like a toothpick, you can be a little bit careful, more careful, because there's a good chance that you can puncture, push right through the canvas. And if you do that, then the oil will saturate that bit of cloth and you will end up with a bare spot. You can already see some of these dots are wanting to spread. Some of them are not. So we will go back to those and apply a little more oil. Or put oil in a different place. Sometimes the paints are just stubborn and they don't want to spread. So if you move your dot slightly to the side of it, there's a good chance that that will make it so that you can get that cell to open up. Finish up on the corners. These colors are looking really awesome. All these beautiful little bullseye cells everywhere. And you could probably hear me tapping on the canvas. So I'm not being overly gentle. See, these cells did not open up at all. So, another drop of oil in those sections, and they should start to open up. Yeah, now we're going to give it a moment. We're going to look it over, see if there's any spots that didn't really get. Like over here, there's a little bit, there's some space over here. Those cells are going to continue to grow though, so there's no real need. I could add some there and there. And probably here and there. I'll put some cells in the center of these little guys just to create the, continue the effect that we're going for. And even if you place the cells between, they're only going to expand until they reach the other cell. So we have some really awesome looking cells in this thing. Dang. That fluorescent orange is beautiful. That yellow just pops. All right, well, let me bring you guys down. I want you to check it out and then we'll see it dry. Man, oh man. 
They almost look like little butterflies in there. Like some of the cells have a very, very distinct like butterfly type shape. And that's super cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.